In order to print down the location of a point, one method is to use the XY coordinate. We call this time a coordinate system in rectangular form. On the other hand, there is also another method called a polar form R theta, where R is the distance from the origin and the theta is the angle measured from the positive x-axis. Take for example, if R equal to 4 and theta equal to 45 degree, that means the distance from the origin is 4 and the angle measured from the x-axis is 45 degree and t clockwise. Then what is the location now? Now from the right angle triangle, we know that x will be r cosine theta, which, which is 4 cosine 45 degree. And we compute this, this is equal to 2 square root 2. And on the other hand, the y coordinate is equal to r sine theta, which is 4 sine 45 degree, also equal to 2 times square root 2. Let's show you how to do this in my calculator. So I'm going to call up my calculator. Now first thing we need to do is set up the calculator. Since I'm doing calculation in degree mode, let's do the setup. See, set up, and then I'm going to choose 3 for degree mode. So I choose 3 for degree mode. Then I'm going to convert polar form to rectangular form. Now in this case, my calculator can do this directly. There is a REC, here means rectangular form, means convert into rectangular form. Let's try this. I'm going to do shift REC, means rectangular form, I convert to rectangular form. Now R is equal to 4, so I press 4, then shift, comma, the direction, theta is 45 degrees, so I press 45, close the bracket, and then I press an equal. Equal. So you say that x is 2.82427, which is 2 square root 2. And how about my y now? Let y is equal to 2.8284. And so we confirm all of them are 2 square root 2. Because you press 2 times square root 2, 2 times square root 2, you'll find that this is convert into the decimal point is 2.8284. Let's do another example. This time, suppose r equal to 4, but theta is 315 degree. Now where is 315 degree? This is the direction, right? which is in the 4th quadrant. So in the 4th quadrant, we know x coordinate is positive, y coordinate negative. Now you don't need to worry about positive and negative because the calculation will take care of it. For example, x is still 4 cosine 315 degree, which is 2 square root 2. y is 4 sine 315 degree, which is minus 2 square root 2. Now, you can do this directly using the calculator. So, just now I mentioned, the calculator has a REC function, which means convert polar to rectangular form. So, I press shift REC. Now, R is equal to 4 now. 4, then comma, and the angle is 315, 315, close the bracket, and then you press equal. So it says that x is 2.8284, and y is, you find that it's negative, come out now, minus 2.8284, which is also minus 2 square root 2, as we see earlier, that 2 square root 2 is actually 2.8284. So this will give you an idea how to make use of the calculator function to convert polar form into rectangular form. Now there is also another button, another function. There is also another function, POL, which means you can convert rectangular form into polar form. Thank you for watching the video. That is the end of recording.